Hey, my name is Cedric from Vertex Marketing Agency, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can add Google Tag Manager to your Shopify store. Now, I've actually made another video probably almost like a year ago on how to add Google Tag Manager to either Shopify or WordPress, but the Shopify platform is actually always changing. So now there's actually a new way to add Google Tag Manager to your Shopify store. So that's exactly what I'm gonna be covering in this video. And if you're not familiar with Google Tag Manager and like, what is this tool, you know, why should I add that uh, on my website? I'm gonna give you a little overview of what it is and why someone would wanna use a tool like Google Tag Manager. So what is Google Tag Manager? Well, it's actually a tag management system and it's most often used for tracking users. So Facebook actually has a piece of JavaScript code called the Facebook Pixel that you can add to your website and that allows Facebook to track users so you can kind of like report how many conversions you are getting from Facebook ads. Well, Pinterest also has a code like that. I know LinkedIn has one, uh, Google Analytics has one, Google Ads has one. So we've got a lot of different platforms that have a piece of JavaScript code that you can add to a website to track users. Now, if you were to add all these different scripts to your website, it would kind of get a little bit messy. So this is why what you can use is something called Google Tag Manager. And it's like one centralized repository for all your different tracking scripts and honestly any kind of scripts. So the way it works is you have what we call tags and inside a tag, this is where you can add, let's say your Facebook pixel, you can add, you know, your Pinterest tags, all the different, I guess, custom HTML or JavaScript code that that platform gives you, you can add that inside tags. Now I'm referencing to JavaScript often, but that is actually like the old Google Tag Manager where you would need to hit new and create a new tag and basically everything was custom JavaScript. Now they actually have a bunch of different templates. So let's say you want to add the Facebook pixel, right? So that you can track users that are coming to your page via Facebook. You can actually just use the Facebook template. Google Analytics has one and same thing with Pinterest. So it's not as technical as it used to be, but it, it still works the same way. So you have your tags. This is what's responsible for sending the data and you have what you, we can actually see it here what we call a trigger so this is when this happens then do this so for example when someone views a specific page then send a tag to facebook meaning that they have actually viewed a page right so that you can track all users that go and navigate through your website when the user let's say makes a purchase on your shopify store will send a purchase event to facebook and you can do the same thing with other platforms like google analytics so those are your tags those are your triggers and you also have another thing called variables and a variable is for example when a user makes a purchase well they actually bought forty dollars worth of product so you can create a value of forty dollars which that would be a variable so there's actually a lot of different ways to use Google Tag Manager. I've actually used Google Tag Manager in the past with clients that are in the real estate space and what they wanted to do is whenever a user submits a form we send the data to let's say something like a Google Sheet. So you can also use like Google Tag Manager as a way to kind of like transport data. If you're familiar with Zapier, it could actually do something really similar to Zapier. So it's a really, really great tool and you can use it honestly for a tons of uh, different reasons. But one that I see most often is for tracking reasons. So it's a really great tool. I use it all the time. And now let me show you how you can add that to your Shopify store. So step number one is to create a Google Tag Manager account. So you're, if you don't have one, you're gonna wanna to navigate to tagmanager.google.com and you're not gonna see something like that. You're probably just gonna see like a blue button that says like create your account. Now, when you see it, when you click that button, you're probably gonna see something like this. So this is just where you give it a name. So uh, a great idea was just basically to type your website domain there. And since we're setting this up on your website, you wanna create a web container. So you wanna select web, um, right, so give it a name, I'm just gonna type this, and then you can click create, and you're just gonna need to accept some terms and conditions, and that's it, but it's completely free, right? So you don't need to pay anything to, to use this tool. It's free and will always be free, so that's, that's a really great thing. So now, uh, once you have it, let me just go back to my workspace, you're gonna see something like this, okay? And if you click here, you're gonna, they're gonna basically give you the instructions on how to set this up on your website. Now, since this is Shopify, it's a little bit uh, trickier. So I'm gonna show you how to, how to properly add this to track users like throughout your entire website. 
but basically you're gonna want to paste this code as high as possible in the head section and then you have the uh, other tag here that you want to paste uh, immediately after the opening body tag so now i'm going to go to my shopify store i'm going to show you how to set this up so let me actually just copy this one in my shopify store if i open this up i'm going to go to themes and i want to edit the code now i want to go uh, and open up the theme.liquid and if we go back to the instructions say paste this code as high in the head section as possible so um, this is the head section and you can all do, do like a control F if you're on Windows to search it and you know you can just type uh, uh, head right that and it's gonna be highlighted in yellow so that's where I want it so I'm gonna click enter just to go right underneath it and I'm gonna paste this now perfect so that's one script that I want to add now there's an additional script here that we need to add after the opening body tag so I'm gonna click to copy it go back to Shopify and I'm gonna do actually do the control F to search it so body, so it's right there and I want to paste it right underneath it. So paste and now I can actually just hit save. Now, if you've actually watched my previous video or potentially other uh, videos on YouTube or on Google, um, you're going to see that some of them actually ask you to go on their preferences, scroll down and where it says Google Analytics, add custom JavaScript. And some people actually add also Google Tag Manager here. It used to work, but uh, Shopify has made some updates and now it doesn't actually really work. So you don't want to add Google Tag Manager there. Instead, you want to click on settings. You want to click on checkout and you want to go to uh, where it says that you can add additional script. So right here, the order status page, I can actually add additional script here. So this is where I'm going to paste both codes. So this one here, then I'm going to do enter, enter and then I'm gonna paste the additional code right underneath it. So you might be a little bit confused, like, hey, like, I don't see the head, I don't see the body, like, you know, how do I know where it's going? Um, unfortunately, we can't really control that. And since this is actually not a Shopify Plus account, I actually don't have access to the checkout page directly. So I can't edit the code of the checkout page. If you have a Shopify Plus account, which you'll know you're probably paying, uh, I, think, I believe it's like over $2,000 a month to have a Shopify Plus account. So this is a demo not really worth it to to get that kind of account but uh, you're going to get access to the checkout page and you can actually add it directly in a checkout page so if you have shopify plus you won't need to do that but most likely you don't if you know if you're just getting started so this is the best way to also add google tag manager to your checkout page now what i'm going to do is obviously i'm going to save it and now the next step is actually to test everything so let's go back to google tag manager and i'm actually going to create a tag i'm going to hit new we're gonna actually create a custom HTML tag. Now, don't worry, especially if you're just getting started, you probably won't use custom HTML. You're gonna probably use template, but since this is just like a test, what I want you to do is type this. So script, and um, we're just gonna say like so something like this, test, and let's just close it. So, just something like that. And what we want to do here is we want to give it a trigger so that it fires on all pages. Now, if I, if you look here, you're going to see that I have a lot of different triggers. That's because I've, you know, used this account for lots of different demos, but you should see the all page triggers. Even when you just create a Google tag manager, that's like a default trigger that you get. Now we're just going to name this like testing and we're going to save this. So basically what I'm doing here is that whenever we're seeing a page view, it's actually going to trigger our test tag and it's gonna fire. Nothing will happen. This is just to check and see if Google Tag Manager is installed on all your pages. So now if you've done that, you can actually hit preview. And then right here, this is where you wanna enter your website URL. So let me actually grab mine. So I'm gonna hit preview. And hit connect. And perfect. So I'm actually seeing this. Um, you might actually have a different icon here. This is fine. What you want to see is you want to take a look at this here. So are you seeing data that is loading? So you probably won't see everything that you've seen because again, I've used this for lots of other demos. But if you go to container loaded, you should see a tag here that says testing and 
hopefully it succeeded. Again, I have lots of different tags here that fired, that, that's just because I've used this for other demos, but you should see the testing tags. And what I recommend that you do is kind of just go through your website. So right now I'm on the, my demo homepage, I can go ahead and like view a product. And when I'm viewing a product, I can see here and right now there's a new sort of like session that is starting and then if i go to container loaded right because here we have the first container loaded here but then we see it again because i visit another page so like google tag manager loads again on that page and we can see our testing tag right here now and when i i don't know add to the cart and then view cart i'm on a different page right we can see the url change so then we are getting again container loaded testing now where you're not going to see google tag manager most likely is he, right here on a checkout so when i click on checkout i actually get to this page and most likely it, it's it's not going to work so right now we can actually see a click here but if i click around we're actually not getting any other clicks. And that's actually because Google Tag Manager isn't installed on the checkout page. That is totally normal. Like I said, this is actually just something that you're gonna have to deal with because Google Tag Manager can't be installed on the checkout page. And I think that's more of like a privacy thing slash legal thing because if you had Google Tag Manager on the checkout page, you could technically access the user's credit card information. So I think to kind of keep things private and secure. Uh, Shopify only reveals the code for the checkout page when you're a Shopify Plus user, which usually means you're spending a few thousand dollars a month just on the Shopify plan, you know, which that means you're a bigger company. So I'm just assuming that's why they don't allow someone that is on a basic plan or even an advanced plan to access the checkout page. But what I recommend that you do is go through the purchase process. So you, you can make a test purchase and then same thing. So when you make a purchase, you're gonna get to the thank you page. Now Google Tag Manager is going to have access to the thank you page. So do the same thing. So go under container loaded and then see if the testing tag was able to fire. Once you've done that and you're seeing that the testing tag is firing on basically all your page, you can be confident that Google Tag Manager is properly installed on your website. And the next step is to actually just add all your different tags, triggers and variables. Now, I understand if you're seeing this tool for the first time, it might be uh, a little bit confusing and a lot of information to kind of like take in, but we've actually made a lot of videos on this channel showing you how to use Google Tag Manager and also how to set up things like Facebook tracking, Google Analytics, the Facebook conversion API. So go ahead and watch these videos. I'm actually gonna leave a few in the description of this video. And if at any point you have any questions, I recommend that you actually check out our community. It's called Coffee and Marketing. And it looks like this. And basically what you can do is you can create a profile and you can ask questions. For example, hey Cedric, Google Tag Manager is not connecting to my Shopify store, can you help? And then either me or someone else on our team will be able to help you out and resolve your issue. So this community is free and you can actually go ahead and sign up and you can ask all your marketing questions right there in this community. But guys, that is it for this video. Now you know how to install Google Tag Manager on your Shopify store. Bye for now.